And of course, we have to talk about tsunamis. So we take you to the boat bay, and this is a dark buoy. There are actually 73. 73 of these uh, kind of watching over us in our ocean waters around the United States. So this floats in the ocean. It will be anchored with a cable under here about 6,000 meters down to the sea floor. So that's six kilometers deep. There's a pressure sensor at the bottom of that cable on the sea floor that can measure a pressure difference of one millimeter over six kilometers of height of water. So that's one millimeter in six kilometers. That's a very small fraction of that total distance, but it can measure that. And when it detects 40 millimeters uh, of a difference of the water height, that's when it sends out an alert that there could be a tsunami. And scientists use data from not just one, but many of these to kind of figure out if there is a tsunami, what direction it may be going, and then to model what kind of impacts could be seen from this, correct? Yes, right. And within the tsunami department, we have Yang Wei, who's a researcher here, and your focus is tsunamis. Tsunami, yeah. Okay, and so you're showing your model here, and your model shows what would happen if a 9.0 earthquake ruptured on the Cascadia subduction zone. These are where those buoys are, correct? Yes. Okay, and you said it would take about a half an hour for the tsunami to hit those buoys. At that point, it has already hit the coast yes. of Washington and Oregon. So the idea is to get more buoys, but closer to the coast. Yes. Yes. To increase, or decrease rather, to minimize warning time. Warning time, yes. warning time. okay. And then the model also shows uh, some simulated effects of the tsunami wave actually hitting high resolution coastal areas. So this is Newport, Oregon. And uh, as we play this, we'll see how the tsunami wave impacts that area. All right, and so how likely, uh, what's the likelihood of uh, 9.0 along the Cascadia subduction zone anytime soon? They say it's like 500 year event. Okay. So the last event was like 700, that's like 300 years ago. So, okay. you know, we are expecting this maybe tomorrow or sometime <laughs> later. Or 200 <laughs> years or even 500 years. Yes, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. And, but every year the possibility is increasing. It's increasing because you've waited that much longer. Yes. Okay. 